What is up, my friends? I hope you're doing well. And today we are gonna be taking an honest look at the Charlie Puth monthly class. Now, this is something that has been anticipated for a long time because Charlie Puth is currently one of the biggest pop artists in the world. And so when the monthly mentioned his class was coming out, I think a lot of people, especially pop producers and songwriters were very excited to kind of dive into the process. And in case you are not part of the class or you're considering enrolling in the class if it's currently open, then I just wanna give you my personal thoughts and impressions based on my experience in the class and maybe give you some pros and cons that you can weigh so you can decide whether it's worth it for you. And if you are interested in rolling though, um, if you wanna grab a 20% discount, or sorry, $20 discount, I should say, feel free to use my link in the description box below. It will give you that $20 discount, plus it will give us the same uh, peer group. So that means when the next class enrollment is happening, uh, when, when they're submitting like personal projects and stuff like that for feedback, then we'll be in the same peer group and we can always dialogue there. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. But anyway, let's talk about the class. So as you would probably expect, um, true to the title and the format of the entire platform, I think Monthly prides itself on basically having a 30-day system where they drip out the classes um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, they skip a few days, but generally the, the instructors or the creators, uh, creators will drip out the classes over a few weeks, up to 30 days, right? And so in the middle, um, in between these, these dripped content videos, you will get these feedbacks uh, and assignments basically that you'll have to complete. And then you can share these with your own peer group to kind of look over and give discussion with each other, give feedback and support, which is always really nice because you can learn a lot from each other, you know? And another perk that Monthly mentions is that sometimes the instructor themselves will actually come in and give feedback and encouragement. Now, this is something that uh, I have seen a little bit of in the classes I've enrolled in, so the Charlie Puth class and the Ryan Tedder class, but it's relatively few and far between. So you're not gonna get a whole bunch of um, interaction with the instructor themselves. Um, just being honest, you know, they're, they're probably very, very busy and they have a lot on their plate. So, we, we, we're basically lucky if they do drop in and give the occasional feedback and say hello and all of that. Um, but generally, you're not going to have direct access to the instructor. It's it's basically self-paced. Um, as long as you keep up with the, the assignments and you watch over the videos, then you're probably going to be, um, you know, do, making good progress along the course. But all in all, the instructor feedback is not going to be as much as maybe you would expect if, um, you know, if that's what you're signing up for. So just a little disclaimer there. But let's let's dive more specifically into the Charlie Puth Masterclass itself. So as you could probably expect, um, Charlie Puth has a lot of equipment. He is, uh, you know, again, one of the biggest artists in the world and he has millions of dollars probably. So um, he could probably uh, collect as much stuff as he wanted for his entire life. And when you do get a look into his studio, you see there's actually a lot of equipment that he does have but he does make a point to say that you don't need very much equipment at all. And that's a really good mindset because I think a lot of us get enamored with the, the best new tools and you know all the best software and all that stuff. And Charlie Puth repeatedly mentions that all that stuff is actually not needed. It's only because you know he has the money and you know it's it's fun to play around with new stuff that he has those tools, but you don't actually need all of those tools to get started. So that's really important to keep in mind. He mainly collects all that stuff because he enjoys plugins so much and he wants to see what the real thing really sounds like. Um, in terms of like DAWs, he uses Pro Tools and he basically tracks stuff in there and it's really funny. He, um, he, he basically hates MIDI and I believe Pro Tools isn't the best at handling MIDI anyway, so that probably has to do with his, his uh, opinion on MIDI. But basically anytime he tracks something in MIDI, he bounces it to audio as soon as, as, soon as he can and then he'll process it further from there. I think he just prefers to look at, MIDI, um, at audio himself. Um, in terms of the tools that he uses, he kind of mentions the very basics that we need. So there's like the keyboard, headphones, microphone, especially if you're recording vocals or any external instruments, uh, audio interface and virtual instruments, like and, and also like plugins and software. So like Splice he uses for samples, he uses Complete, he uses uh, classic reverbs and compressors as well. And in regards to like music theory, because we all know uh, Charlie Puth is actually a jazz pianist as well, so he probably knows a lot of music theory too. Funny enough though, he actually says that when he's writing music or playing music, he actually plays mainly by feeling and instincts uh, rather than dissecting everything he's playing, even though he has perfect pitch and he could literally just name any chord that he's playing. But 
generally he is just playing by instinct and so even though he doesn't know all the core names off the top of his head right away, he's able to play them because he has experience as a jazz pianist. So that's something good to know is that um, he's not the he's not the most uh, theoretically adept. So like let's say Jacob Collier, right, for example, but you don't need to be in order to write hit songs, right? So Charlie Puth makes a mention of that as well. So he says that you don't need all the music theory to basically write good music because he certainly doesn't have all the music theory. He just knows enough, um, well, more than enough basically to to write great songs. And then in the, in the next section, he kind of talks about working in the DAW, right? So he kind of talks about his own workflow, how to create individual tracks, record chord progressions, quantize looping, and then he adds like different effects to give you a sense of what the plugins do. So it's a very step-by-step -step approach, which is really nice. Um, and I actually love the overall vibe of the class itself. So Charlie, uh, you know, you, if you look at his Instagram or TikTok presence, you probably notice how... Um, like fashionable or how swag he is, right? And he's constantly showing off the new tools he has or like new song ideas and all that. But the monthly vibe is much more casual in a way and it's more drawn out, it's more long form. So it, it's more like a casual conversation. It's almost like you're spending a literal afternoon with Charlie Puth, you know? And he's a lot more open in this, I feel. Like he's, he talks a lot about how he's actually insecure with his voice. So when he's tracking his own vocals, he will make sure his processing chain is set up so it captures the performance as well as possible to then inspire him to write further, you know? So he'll put on auto-tune, he'll put on like a compressor or whatever it is to make sure the performance is up to his standard for at least a scratch vocal before he continues on from there. So the overall vibe is, is really nice. He's also pretty humble in the class as well. So you get a sense of his true personality there. He's more shy and reserved, you know? And he's just a generally optimistic person as well, which is nice to see. Um, and then kind of jumping into the first track, uh, he kind of sings into voice memos, he kind of chooses sounds, uh, starts with single ideas and melodies, and then builds from that. Uh, kind of similar to the Ryan Tedder class, which uh, I've made a review of as well. Um, basically, he kind of starts with a single idea, but um, developed by feeling. So it's not very theoretical. He basically goes, finds sounds that he likes, puts them into the DAW, and then continues to build from there. And in the first song, it's a full Charlie Puth-ish song. So it's a lot of like... Um, Lots of vocal stacks, lots of vocal harmonies, lots of um, lyrics matching what the music is doing, so lots of prosody, and it's it's really nice to see it come together from start to finish and see how Charlie explains the steps that he's taking. And then in the second song, he basically writes a song that he would never write, essentially. So he goes for more of a ballad, he goes for more of a, uh, he calls it whiny <laughs> vocals and lyrics, so very, very earnest, let's say. And it actually sounds pretty good to me. Like, I, I, I kind of like the song. It's pretty catchy. Um, but he, you can see him constantly cringing along the way. But he stresses that it's a good idea because you're basically expanding out of your comfort zone. So in that regard, you're, you're you know, taking your abilities to the next level by experimenting with new sounds and trying new things that you wouldn't necessarily do with your comfortable song, if that makes sense. So it's nice to see both extremes, something that Charlie Puth could knock out within a couple hours that's fully produced, something that is totally himself, and you get to see what instruments and plugins he uses versus stuff that he would, versus something he would never write, more of a ballad stuff without drums and all of that, and very earnest and <laughs> almost whiny, he says. Um, but again, at the end, he kind of likes it because it, it shows a side of him that he knows that uh, that he could write if he really wanted to, you know? But generally, it's a very interesting class because, again, you get to see the inside process of the artist and Charlie Puth in particular. Of course, this is never going to be as helpful as if like, you were literally sitting next to him in his studio and asking him personalized questions, but I think this is the closest we're going to get to seeing the artist process. And the fact that he takes us from start to finish writing two songs from scratch is a wonderful thing. And Again, if you like the sense of accountability that the monthly platform gives you, so doing the course in 30 days and then submitting your own songs and writing your own material in the process and then submitting it to your peer group for feedback and review, then that is something that's going to be really worth it for you because collaboration and finding out you know, what other people are doing and what people think, that's always stuff that you can incorporate into your own workflow and develop from there. So I personally see there's pros and cons to both, right? The cons of taking something like this is 
the fact that it's not totally asynchronous. So it's not like you can watch it completely on your own time. Even though you do have the videos for life, there's a bit of pressure for you to continue along the set schedule and take the class as it was intended. Um, so if you're not into that sort of pressure or that sort of schedule, then maybe that's not the format yet you want to go for. However, it is nice to have that sort of pressure to push you to actually write music and keep yourself accountable. And also having that peer group where you can submit and share ideas and all of that is also very valuable. And a lot of people have said that that's their favorite part of the class. So that's something to consider if you're looking into this material. But yeah, all in all, I did enjoy the class. It was great to see how Charlie Puth works get more of a sense of his personality, what he's into, and kind of the vibe he likes to go for generally. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what else he does in the future if he does more educational material, maybe with this platform or another one. Um, I'm sure he's only going to develop more as an educator or a teacher, and it's going to be fun to see. So if you are interested in taking the class, uh, feel free to grab uh, the class at $20 off by using my link below. And again, we'll be in the same peer group when the class opens next, whether that's currently open or it's closed. Uh, but it will be open in the future. Just grab the, the course at $20 off using my link below. Really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Let me know if you have any questions about the class. I'll try to help however I can. But again, I'm really grateful that you stuck around and hopefully this gives you an insight into the way it works. I appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one and take care. See you later. Bye-bye.